episode of Cooking with the Charleses. This week I'm gonna make a uh, chicken stir fry. I've got the bell peppers, I got the onion. I'll probably add some carrots as well. But the one thing with stir fries is you have to make sure that the, the meat of your choice, whether it's chicken, whether it's beef, uh, whether it's shrimp, is well seasoned. And I have quite a lot of seasonings, okay? So um, here are some. Here are the others and I've got for this one over here we've got pepper we've got clove powder we've got the um, umami seasoning right here we've got the ginger powder and then we've got um, garlic salt and then I'll put all the measurements in the description below we've got chicken maggi over here we've got um, curry powder We've got the, the seasoning salt here, the accent, and then the adobe seasoning. I also have, and I know this seems like a lot, but the more the merrier in some cases. I've got turmeric, and then I've also got a jerk chicken seasoning that I found at Publix. Let me show you. I always like trying new ones. So this is the, the jerk seasoning I'm going to try. I tasted it a little bit, and it's good. I've got also about a quarter cup of um, garlic that I put in the in the pilon, the mortar and pistle. And then I also added about half of a, a habanero pepper. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, oh, actually, I forgot to tell you. Of course, I've added yesterday, I cut this up, I cleaned it, I added lime and salt to it. And then today I rinsed it off and then also put um, some hot water in it and rinsed it out. Now to that, I'm gonna add the seasonings. And I got a glove this time. I don't think I can handle the heat. So it's all going in. That's one. Ooh, it's gonna have a nice pop of color too. That's two. That's three. And then finish it off with the garlic. That's four. I'm gonna stir this up and then I'm gonna come back and show you how it looks like. I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Okay, so that only took about a few minutes or so. And I just wanted to show you the, the size of the um, chicken pieces that I have here. Not, it's about bites. I would say it's bite size, but probably a couple of bites. That you can get out of that one and i just want to make sure that the seasonings are well distributed make sure you taste it to see if um if the flavor profiles to your liking okay because this is going to marinate overnight and then we will um get it into the wok so that we can um sear it off before we make our our stir fry so this is done for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to prepare the vegetables for tomorrow all right it's the next day let me just turn this microwave off here it's the next day and I'm heating up this oil I just used whatever oil I had on hand and it happens it just so happens that I had some um, pork fat on hand from when my mom no some rib fat on hand for when my mom made her ribs so I use that one, it's excellent in flavoring. And I'm just heating this wok up to, to medium high. It's hot, it's good. I'm going to add my chicken first. It's been on the counter, so it's not uh, like straight from the fridge. Cause I didn't want it to, to cool the oil down too much. So I'm gonna add my meat to the wall. I want that color. But it smells so nice already with the spices. So let's just add my meat and we'll cook food. Not all of it because we still have our vegetables, but we'll start the cooking process. Oh my, yes, yes, yes. I'm excited for this meal. I started uh, 
the rice already. I made a curry rice with some sweet peas. So that should pair nicely with this one. Okay. So let's just give it a little bit because the the chicken cooled the the oil down a bit. So we want the temperature to rise before we start to, to stir it. So let, let's let the temperature rise and we'll get back on it. So it's only been a few minutes and the temperature rose back up. The thing that I love about chicken thighs is that they don't take too long to cook. So we're gonna um, cook for about another five to 10 minutes and then we'll um, start adding our vegetables in. Let's get a stir. Very easy to work with. And I'm loving the color. And of course, it smells delicious in here. We'll be back in a few minutes. So it's been more like 10 minutes, 10 to 12. I'm getting a nice um, crust as you can see. Look at that. Nice crust. Oh, I like that crust that a, a good walk gives you. So the chicken is starting to become a bit more tender. So now I'm going to add in the onions. I diced them up last night, and this is about uh, one and a half onions. Because I had a half left in the fridge, and I said, why not? These onions are going to give it some excellent flavor. There we go. They're all in. Let's stir it up. So we really see the color off of those onions. Yes, yes, yes. Let's let this cook for a few minutes and we'll be right back with the next step. It's been only a couple of minutes and you can see that the onions are incorporating well. Now we've got our bell peppers. I've got four colors, yellow, orange, red, and green. And then I just diced them up about this size. I'm gonna add them in. Look at that pop of color. I love it, I love it, I love it. That sizzle is loving it too. Let's incorporate. And then we'll come back and check on it in a few minutes. It's only been a couple of minutes. And the bell peppers are looking nice. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to incorporate some mushrooms. Yes. I like that sizzle. I just got a 12 ounce package of um, sliced mushrooms from Publix. I rinse them and in they go. What I love about stir fries is you can kind of be creative and add whatever you'd like. You know, of course the staples are onions and the bell peppers, but you can put whatever you want and make it your own. So is there something that you typically like to add to your stir fries that maybe isn't so traditional? Put it in the chat. We always want to know. Okay, it's only been a few minutes, but my guests have arrived. My guests today are my sister Pat and my mom. So I'm going to add the last step here, and that is just some matchstick carrots. I love these because they don't, they don't take too long to cook at all. So I'm gonna put them in last. But it's a nice little pop of color. So I'll put a couple of handfuls in. And stir, stir, stir. All right. Looking good. Let's give it a couple more minutes and we'll check back in, okay? 
Okay, so the mushrooms have reduced, not reduced, or at least a bit more liquid. But I like my stir fry to have a bit more sauce. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Yes, I'm a saucy girl. We'll check back in a little bit. Okay, so this is to the consistency that I prefer. If you're not a sauce person, don't add the liquid and kind of leave it like that. I'm going to let it just simmer for a few more minutes and then we'll plate. Let's see which one, um, whether Kat or Mom wants to be our taste tester. We'll be back in a few. All right. Okay, so this is the curry rice. And to the plate, we're going to add some of the spicy chicken stir fry. Yes. Okay, we're just going to put it on the side over here. All of it looks delicious. Oh, yes. Ooh. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. We're going to see who else likes it. Mom or Kat, who's going to try this? All right. We're going to come back with someone to try in just a minute. Look at that plate. Yes. All right. My volunteer here is Mom. Say hi, Mom. Hello. All right, let's dig in. Mom, this is chicken thighs, and I made a stir fry out of it. Oh, that looks like it's tender, is it? Oh, very tender. Oh, yes. I'm going to test it. And All right, let's see. Then you'll give us your review. Okay, don't worry. I tell you the truth. You always do, Mom. Yes. Yes. What do you think? Absolutely beautiful. Excellent. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, continue to enjoy, Mom. I loved it. I can see that you love it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to continue our meal. But if you enjoy our content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. This year, we're looking to see if we can get 2,000 new subscribers. And we need each and every one of you, okay? Thank you so much to our current subscribers. We couldn't do it without you. And remember... Life's better, well-seasoned. Bye.